Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new tutorial. This time I want to show you how you can create an infrared time lapse using Lightroom, LR time lapse, and After Effects. But before I start with this tutorial, I want to say this is not about faking an infrared like effect. So for this tutorial, I use actual infrared footage, just so you know. Okay, then let's start with the tutorial. So first I just need to do my basic editing and that includes setting the right profile, white balance and so on. And what I do besides the basic editing is go to the crop settings and choose 16 by 9 to get a fitting uh, film aspect. And once the basic editing is done, before I'm exporting the whole time-lapse sequence, I want to check the picture in Photoshop first to see if the colors are looking good. So I'm right-clicking on the image and go to Edit In and Photoshop. And here I'm just doing the same thing which I want to do in After Effects later. I need to apply a general mixer adjustment layer and change the red and blue channels. All right, and as you can see, this looks pretty cool. So I'm ready to export the sequence. Therefore, I'm heading back to Lightroom and select all the images. Then, of course, I need to synchronize the shots. And then I'm right clicking on the sequence and go to go to folder and library. Then next, I'm exporting the image sequence. And you can see I already have chosen export time lapse. And I guess you can ignore all those settings here. I'm just going with the LR time lapse JPEG original. And then I'm starting the editing process. And depending on your system, this will take a while, so be patient. Now, once Lightroom has finished the exporting process, uh, this LR time lapse window will pop up. As you can see, this window is in a German language for me now, but I think in this case it doesn't matter. And you can understand most settings anyway. So for my time-lapse footage, I'm always going with the ProRes uh, codec and I also want to have 4K resolution and I'm going with 24 frames a second and choose the highest possible quality. If you want, you can also add some slight motion blur, but I would suggest be careful with that because it's a quite strong effect. Okay, once you have set your settings, just go to render video and LR timelapse will do the rest for you. And then once the video is rendered, we can head over to After Effects and import our infrared timelapse. And you can see I already created a new composition and here I'm just dragging in the infrared timelapse. So one last thing we need to do is uh, change the color channels. Therefore, I'm going to Effects, Color Correction and then Channel Mixer. And that's basically the same as in Photoshop. We are changing the red red one to zero and then red blue to 100 and then blue red to 100 and blue blue to zero. And you can see we have the right colors. Now we can adjust them a bit further. Again, I'm going to color correction and then hue saturation. And then I'm going through all the colors here. Basically, I want to have the reds to have some more saturation. And then I'm heading to the yellow ones. And because I want those trees to be kind of a pink color, I'm changing the master hue. I think something like this looks good. And I can also increase the saturation even further. I'm going through the remaining colors. Greens, I'm going to reduce the color saturation as well as Atsuyans. And for the blues, I may want to increase it to have a nice blue sky. And last, magentas. Also, I'm removing all the saturation. And that's the whole process of making an infrared time lapse. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.